I'll let you be seated. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do today is, is really a uh, normal way I prophesy. But um, in the early hours of Friday morning, I don't know, 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, um, God began to, to speak to me and show me some things that he's getting ready to do in the earth. Hallelujah. And it's, it's something out of the box that I had never really considered. Because everything that we're getting ready to step over into is about harvest. The number one priority of God in this hour is souls more than anything else. And a lot of our ambitions and our dreams really were not incubated out of heaven. There are things that we want God to do or do through us or give us, and then we want to stamp God on it. But all God cares about is souls because God knows how bad hell is. And not just hell, but hell is a precursor to a much greater punishment, and that's the lake of fire. Where the worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. And uh, as God began to speak to me, I was dreaming this, The Lord said, I'm getting ready to loose a blanket into the earth of just God love. And he said, it's more than my presence. And I could, I could see God in this setting and the purity of God was indescribable. The, the pulling I could feel when God began to just reveal the love of God. And I began to understand why out of all of the things that God talks about, his attributes of mercy and power but when he uses the one adjective to describe who he is, he said, I am love. God said that the earth has never experienced what it's getting ready to experience. The Lord said that this is going to supersede anything that mankind has ever experienced. God said this, this atmosphere, this permeating love of God is going to begin to cover the earth. And the Lord said it's going to go so much farther than denominations and churches and ministries and, 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 and names and talent and anointing. God said what this is going to do is something that nothing else has ever been able to do. He said, my love is going, I'm going to let mankind feel the pure, unadulterated love of God that literally will begin to melt the hearts of people. He said, because if I don't, Millions of people are never going to get saved by coming to church. 
Millions will never hear the gospel, perhaps through a television or a radio. But he said, I'm going to let human beings begin to have an encounter with my love that have never known me. And he said, when, he said, not everyone will receive me when I expose them to who I am. He said, but I have to give every man and woman a choice to be able to receive me as their Lord and Savior. God said that for the next duration of time, and he didn't give me years, but I know it was, it's a window of time that the Lord said, my love is going to begin to fall in the earth. And when it begins to fall, there's going to be a supernatural peace that begins to hit mankind. And for a season, wars will begin to cease. And the hatred that man has for each other and the genocide, God said, I'm going for a season to call it to a halt. And it will be as if a supernatural ceasefire is taking place in the earth. And the Lord said, my love will, there will be no barriers. There will be no walls that can stop it. He said, I will settle down in nightclubs where they're partying and they've never known me, never were raised in church. And all of a sudden they will stand. The music will stop. Musicians will stop playing. Dancers will stop dancing. And people will begin to weep and they will say, what is this? And God said, my love will begin to touch them. And all around the room, he said, you will see people begin to go to their knees that have never known Jesus and they will raise their hands and they will say, I don't know who you are, sir, but oh, I cannot withstand the love of God that I am feeling. And God said, out of my mercy, where the church has failed, he said, in my mercy, I'm going to one more time come back to the earth and I'm going to begin to release the glory of my presence. And he said, when my love begins to be released. And he said, this is different than the 50s. This is different than a Catherine Kuhlman meeting where there was a vibration in the area, in the room from, from just the manifested presence of God. He said, what I'm getting ready to do, I've never done before. Never done before. He said, when I came to the earth in physical form, there was a release of just a fragment in me, says the Lord. And God said, people would go three days without food and just sit because they were drawn to what emanated out of me. They could feel the love of the Lord. And God said that as this love begins to be released and it's going to begin to be released in 2024, by the end of 2024, says the Lord, there's going to be such a tidal wave of heaven in the earth. God said that plans of the enemy are going to be reversed. The Lord said that there are men in back rooms around the world of great power and great authority and great influence that are at rest because they already believe that everything that they needed set in place has already been set in place, and they are waiting now for it to be activated 
The Lord says it as I begin to release. Uh, the only way I can express this is God said, I'm going to release myself. He said, I've released my presence. I've released my power. I've released my mercy. But he said, this time, <laughs> he said, I'm releasing myself to my creation. <laughs> the Lord said this is going to be such a pure move of the Lord that flesh will wither in its presence. God says that I'm getting ready to invade the Catholic Church. He said, they worship my mother, but they've not known me. And he said, I'm getting ready to unveil myself to millions of Catholics. That know me through rituals and rules. But they never met me face to face. The Lord said, there are many, many of you that sit in this building, but you've never really had an encounter with me. And God says, get ready. I, 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 I've been wondering, I, I was telling the Lord, I said, you prophesied that cars will drive by churches and that they'll just turn into parking lots. And people, before they can get in the building, will lay on the parking lot floors and asphalts and give their hearts to Christ. And Friday morning, I begin to see this. God said, this is because my love is going to literally be released in the earth. It's going to be in Rwanda, and it's going to be Indonesia. God said that that false religions will not be able to keep this out. The Lord said there are no political systems set in place. There are no governments. There are no laws that says that Christ cannot come in here. The Lord said the earth is mine. And he said I'm hearing the cry of the earth. He says the earth is in upheaval right now because there's so much hatred in the earth. He said there's so much hatred in the church. He said my sons and daughters hate each other and they war with each other and they devour each other denominations will fellowship with each other and everybody competes with each other God said that's not me God said, that's not me. I'm not willing that any man should perish. The Lord said, I did not give you a corner on myself. I am no respecter of persons. God said, "All I, when I died on the cross, all I wanted was souls that would escape the fires of hell. The Lord says, I'm releasing now a baptism of myself in the congregations throughout the earth. Now God says, this is why I prophesied that in your public schools, all of a sudden children begin to be filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. God said, the church could not reach this generation of 10, 20, 30-year-olds because they've been so indoctrinated by an atheistic, agnostic, ill-gotten, hellish doctrine that says God does not exist and there's no right and there's no wrong. But he says, when I begin to settle down amongst this generation and they begin to feel me, they're going to, what is this? I don't know what this is. God said, I'm going to begin to melt their walls. I'm going to melt their resistance. The Lord said, hallelujah, your children, not because of just your prayers, but the Lord said, for the prayer that I prayed before I was crucified, Father, that they may be one even as you and I are one. He said, I'm getting ready to answer that prayer in the earth, says the Lord. He says, you think that God 
God is about money and promotion and power and buildings and talent and anointing and legacy. He said, I'm not about those things. I am about reaching into the hearts of the lost and those that have never known me and to begin to draw them unto myself. God said, my presence is going to radically change the way that you have church. It's going to radically change. God says, have I not told you that you would have services for hours and yet you cannot understand God? How can that be? But the Lord says, when you get in my, in the presence, in the unadulterated love of God, he said, there will be no time. He said, an hour will be but a minute. All of a sudden, he says, it will be as if you've been raptured to heaven and the glory of God, hallelujah, will be so powerful and so glorious uh, that you will forget where you are uh, and hatred will be dissolved. The Lord spoke this to me. He said, this will not end until I take the church out of the earth. God has said, I have one final task to perform. And that is to reap the earth of the souls of men. Hallelujah. The love of God. How rich and pure. How measureless and strong. It shall forever more endure the saints, the angels, song. God said, I've done a lot of great things over the last few thousand years in the earth. God says, this will be my coup de grace. This will be the capstone of what I'm getting ready to do that started at Calvary. And the Lord said that there's going to be a reversal Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is, in my spirit, as I see it, it's almost like there's going to be a light that begins just to spread across the planet. And it's going to, it doesn't need church. And I want you to hear me about the spirit. God's not doing away with church. But the Lord said that what the church where she has failed, God said because the church has presented the gospel to the world in an untrue portrayal that many denominations present me to the world, says the Lord, almost in anger that if you don't do this there's judgment falling upon thee God said I never intended for the gospel to be betrayed that way he said I meant for the gospel to be released in love hallelujah hallelujah May there be a blanket of the love of God that would begin to settle down in this house. To those of you around the world, under the sound of my voice, may the love of God, hallelujah, God reveal to these people what you're letting me see. The Lord says that 
what I am releasing, what, I, what I'm exposing mankind to, my love, the essence of who I am. He says, the world has said the love of God will let you live in sin. The Lord said, no. He said, what I am releasing is of such purity that when they feel me and they're exposed to me, he said, it will pull them out of their sin. It will pull them out. God said that when they begin to feel me, that they will run to me. The Lord says, do not be surprised. Even as I, a few years ago, says the Lord, on a Sunday filled resting place up without the help of man, God said that one of the first places, and he brought back to my memory, he said, son, I gave you a prophetic word on God gates and God portals. He said, you've asked me what they were. He said, the God portals that I prophesied to you about are going to be the initial places that the love of God begins to be manifested and expressed. And he said it will begin to explode. Hallelujah. And he said, I, I'm raising up God gates, men and women, that are going to be so full of the love of God that they can walk into a business, they can walk into any secular place, and immediately it will change the atmosphere because people will begin to feel something they cannot describe. The Lord said the church has been in an outer court position for a long time. And that when people come into the house of the Lord across America, very seldom do they feel the love of God. The Lord said that what I am releasing will prove to sinners that I exist. God said, I'm going to exceed doctrine, theology. In fact, the Lord says that men won't be writing deep thesis, theological truths. For the Lord said, I was a simple man. I ate simple food. I dressed in a simple way, and I walked with simple men. And the Lord said, I am bringing simplicity back to the house of the Lord. <laughs> God says that this early in the Friday morning, the Lord spoke this to me. He said, one of the earmarks that you're going to know that this love, this exposure of myself, not my power, but me, is that <clears throat> when I begin to birth the church, the book of Acts, he said, one of the first things that I did was I broke the spirit of covetousness and the love of material things. And he said, people begin to sell houses and lands. And they brought it in and laid it at the apostles' feet. The needs begin to be met. <clears throat> God said that 
my love is going to be so powerful and so intense that we will no longer ever be satisfied by material things, that we can no longer be entertained by the natural realm. But we will be only moved by being in the presence of the Lord. And God said, I know that it's been frustrating that many of you over the years have sought me, sought my face, requested for the intense presence of the Lord to be in your life, and yet it's like I stood at a distance. But the Lord said, prepare yourself because there is a joining getting ready to take place. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, pen will not be able to capture on the pages of a book what I'm going to do. God said, you have read it the history of men <clears throat> down to the ages that have had great exploits and done great things. God said that this is different. <clears throat> I thought that signs, wonders, and miracles would be the catalyst to bring the millions into the house of the Lord. God began to speak to me. He said, son, he said, those things will happen, but that won't be why they come. Hallelujah. He said, that would just be a byproduct. He said, because the human man, the human heart, when it has, comes face to face with its creator, men will be forever changed. Nature's instantly changed. And God said this, this, Violence that's in the earth is because the church quit having the love of God. They became each other's biggest enemy. And when the unbeliever came in, they did not feel the Lord. Oh, the Lord says churches put on great entertainment and great shows, but nobody was changed. But God said, what you're getting ready to see now is an unadulterated divine sovereign manifestation that as I begin to move, hallelujah, that service, nobody will just be able to stand up and say, okay, we're, we're, we're going to the next part. God said that there will be a divine orchestration by the Holy Ghost, and people will be moved by the power of the Lord. God said that my love is going to be of such magnitude, such power, will be so it will so affect the physical realm of people that those who bow up and resist me and say, no, that we're going to stop you. The Lord said, in that moment, there will be an Ananias and Sapphira, judgment of God said, get ready, prepare yourselves, because they will carry dead people again out of the sanctuary of the Lord. Sunday. God said there is a holy fear 
of the Lord coming back into the atmosphere of the earth. And the Lord says, prepare yourself because you are now entering. When 2024 hits the midnight hour and the clock strikes that day, the Lord says heaven will declare harvest time. God said that there are angels, hallelujah. The angels of the Lord are now, they're standing. They've already been given their assignments. They've already been given their geographical placements. And they are standing around the throne. And he said, heaven is at an attention, waiting, hallelujah, for the next few weeks to transpire. And then God says, hallelujah, that heaven will sovereignly reach down and take a hold of the affairs of man. Politics are going to be drastically changed. You will hear, says the Lord, of third world countries that all of a sudden from the government and the president down, they will embrace Christianity and the Lord Jesus Christ. That their government bodies, governmental bodies, as they have come together in conclave to deal with the legislature, problems of their country, all of a sudden the Spirit of the Lord will just begin to, the love of God will just begin to fill the building. God said this will not be something that you can see with your eyes. Uh, he said it will be greater than that. Uh, all of a sudden humans that it did not know about God, uh, never really considered God, uh, had gone about their business, were raised that way. Uh, all of a sudden uh, they will begin to weep. They will begin to shake. Uh, and they will say, what is this? And it will be Jesus introducing himself to them. Uh, and you will see uh, men self-made that will begin to bow their knees. This is where the Lord said every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. God said this is not just about the rebellious. He said this is about my creation, my wavered sons and daughters that the church could not reach. And he said I'm going to begin to introduce myself to them through my manifest the presence of my own self. And God said, though I've been in a distance for some time, hallelujah, I'm coming back now. There is a wave, a wave of the love, of the love, of the love of God. He said, most of you have never experienced this, but when it comes, it's going to forever change you. It's going to forever move you. It will forever redefine you. And all of a sudden, things that mattered won't matter. All of a sudden, what you used to die for will, will not move you. And they'll be coming in by the thousands around the world, by the millions. Rooms, auditoriums, stadiums will be filled. Hours will go by. There will be no preaching for hours. There will be no singing. All of a sudden, says the Lord, there will be songs that will begin to be song that have been written by heaven itself and as these songs begin to be sung says the Lord it will be as the church has become an angelic choir and the glory and the manifested presence of God begins to come up like smoke off of the altar the presence, the love the love, the love of God now may God baptize you today hallelujah, now God may you settle down. Do it what you showed me, Lord, and settle upon thy people. The Lord said the church allowed peace to be taken from the earth because she got off course, got drunk on success and money, power and fame. So the Lord says, I'm writing the church, not forsaking her. I'm writing the church. And he said, peace 
is coming back. Hallelujah. God said, showing you what I could do has not been enough. He said, I'm not going to show you who I am. And he said, I'm just love. Hallelujah. <clears throat> I'm just love. All of these seats one day will be filled, says the Lord. Whether we're here or not, they'll be filled. <clears throat> but not just here. Around the world. Around the world. Hallelujah. The harvest. The harvest. The harvest is coming. It's coming. It's coming, says the Lord. The harvest is coming. <clears throat> Judge me. You know that song? <clears throat> <clears throat> 